Your main business telephone number, whether this is being ported from your existing service or newly issued, uses the call manager to route calls to their proper destination. Remember that although your main business number is incoming only, all outbound calls are placed from your AK Voice subscriber lines, and the outgoing caller ID is masked to your main number on all calls except for your 911 calls. Also remember that the main number doesn't have a mailbox of its own. You must route calls to one of your subscriber lines to take messages. In our example of Bob's Brewery, we'll use Incoming Call Manager to route calls according to Bob's business schedule. Now we'll set up Incoming Call Manager. We'll locate our incoming line under the Users tab and click on the number. Then we go straight to Call Manager and we're going to set up our rules and our schedule by following the tabs across the top. So first we'll set up a rule for each circumstance that we want to route calls differently. So our normal will be our morning routing when the brewery is open from 8 to 2 Monday through Friday. We'll add a new set and give it a name for when the tasting room is open in the evening and I want calls routed there. And finally, a third set of rules for when the brewery is closed. First, I'll deal with when the brewery is closed. That's the easiest. I want to forward things straight to my automated attendant, which is extension 24. I save that option and apply. Then I'm going to do my evening rule for the tasting room. Now, for this option, I'm going to want to pick ring more than one phone at the same time and we're in sequence. The reason for that is that I want to be able to control where the call goes if it's not answered. So when you use this option, it'll override the number of rings before a call would normally roll to voicemail. So if I say 60 seconds, it'll ring for 60 seconds on that tasting room phone, extension 23, and then I can direct it to my automated attendant afterwards. This is an advantage because a call directly to line 23 would go to voicemail after three rings. So this lets you control the behavior of your incoming calls. Now when I'm open at the brewery, I want to ring two extensions, both my office phone, which is extension 21, and the brew house floor, which is extension 22. Once I get both of those phones on there, I can adjust the slider down to 30 seconds for each and say that after 30 seconds of ringing, I want to go to extension 24, which is the auto attend attendant we've already set up. Next, I'll create a weekly schedule. So I want to create a time period for when my brewery is open in the morning and give that a name. and a period for the evening for the tasting room. Anything that's not in these periods would be considered something else, so you don't need to create a schedule for closed. You just drag and drop the time period you want on the calendar there. It's a visual thing. It might be a little tricky to get the hang of first. And highlight your other time period and highlight that on the schedule as well. And that's my 8 to 2 for the mornings, Monday through Friday. When you're sure you've got it right, go up and click Apply. And then finally, you may want to be closed for holidays. So you can add in public holidays if you want. So here we're going to pick the Welsh public holidays for fun. Um, you can also click directly on the calendar to show which holidays you'd be closed for. So now that you've set up your rules, weekly schedule and calendar, you can click the radio button handle depending on the time of day. And you're going to apply a rule to those schedules you set up. So normal during morning, I'm going to use my tasting room rules on the period afternoon. And then all the other times, I'm going to use my closed rules. And then for holidays, my special days, I'm going to use my closed rules. And then once you're happy, you just click apply, and that is how you configure your incoming call manager.